Hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am Maddie, and today we are going to be doing another Dollar Tree haul. Oh, it's all backwards. <laughs> so today our haul is going to be Christmassy and specifically Christmas crafty, <laughs> I guess. So um, when I was little, we always did Christmas craft. We always did crafts in general, but like especially I remember Christmas ones, decorating styrofoam ornaments and doing like sh glittery like little shapes and images and ornaments. I love it so much. So I had to go see what was out there to get. So I've got a bag full of stuff to show you more than I normally do. So I'm going to try to talk quickly in this one. We'll see how that goes. Let's begin now. Okay, the first thing I've got to show you is these giant gingerbread men. Look at them! So I did find these a little while ago, so I'm sorry if they are going to be difficult to find now. Um, but I love them. I got two of these large ones, and I definitely want to use them as wall decor. Gingerbread is like my thing. <laughs> Growing up, I have a really large family, and my mom made us homemade stockings each one when we were like, I don't know, when we were really little and they all had a different picture on them that she like sewed on there from felt and they're so sweet and mine was a gingerbread house with gingerbread men. So forever I have been like in love with gingerbread stuff and this one was so cute. It comes with the big cutouts. I love how it says ornament kit. Like what? What size of tree is this for? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, like I said, I cannot wait. They do have little felt um, decoration pieces here, which are really cute. But um, I'm actually definitely, I guess that's the way it would look. But I'm definitely going to do like a white slick um, felt paint or fabric paint to make like a raised icing effect. And I'm not sure how all I'm going to decorate it. Maybe just all white icing. Um, but they're going to be so freaking cute. And I'm gonna have them like I said maybe like outside my door they'll be so cute like my bedroom door these are obviously not weatherproof anyways so in love with those okay when I am got left out of my um other Christmas haul on accident where I did all the packaging so this little Santa's Christmas list faux book box is gonna be shown to you in this one look at that it's got all the page textures and that little image is just so adorable, so um, classic. What is the word I was trying to look for? Retro. And then it does have its little foil stamp, which I love. I think that m makes them look so special. The little plaid side, really gorgeous. And this size on this box is just adorable to me. They actually did have it in the bigger sizes, but this size was like, ah. Oh, it hit the spot for me. Had to take it home. Adorable. Must adopt. I also grabbed all this like, what, what is this? Tinsel garland? Something like that. Nine feet of tinsel garland. And it is so gorgeous to me. I don't even know where I'm going to put this. I have a couple of tables decorated for Christmas. So I can put it anywhere, I guess. But I just, if you're like a person who loves like satisfying things like oh my gosh get yourself some tinsel garland <laughs> doesn't it just like capture the season so freaking cute oh my gosh I love it the sparkle okay the sparkle is so real anyways that wasn't a very exciting item but it was obviously super exciting to me <laughs> okay so let's see what other crafts I've got so they had these sets as well that are foam sheets in a 12-piece set. So this one was Christmas trees. And I got it because I really have a goal to get the family to sit down. We're like all adults. <laughs> There's a couple of like grandkids. But for the most part, we're like all adults. And I, but I would love us to sit down and just do some little Christmas crafts like in the old days. So this one has 12 Christmas trees, which would be so easy to decorate with like um, glitter pens or I mean really anything because you could I feel like you could use markers on these. And I also have paint markers. Those 
would probably work really well on here. Um, or you could do like 3D touches to it. I think they're so super, super cute. And I also did get, oops, that's not the one. Here we go. I did get them in the gingerbread men, of course. I mean, you know I have to. So this one is 12 gingerbread men. Although it is reminding me of the Halloween garland I had. And now I am extremely tempted to turn this into a string of garland gingerbread men. And you know what? I'm already in love with it. That's what I'm going to do. Don't try to change my mind. I am convinced. Gingerbread garland. That'll be so cute. Of course, I'm going to decorate them with my white icing. Those are going to be so cute. And then I also have these, which are um, described as ornaments. There's 12 pieces. But you can see that this is a much darker, kind of um, more firm felt. And it has these little punch-out areas, which is interesting to me. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with it because there's not other pieces to attach or anything. But there is one right through the middle, so this can easily become garland. And it can easily be decorated for sure. So that'll be so fun. Again, I, you get 12, which I think is a really good number for like a little activity at home with the kids or whatever. Okay, we also picked up another boring item. These self-adhesive tool uh, hooks. I have not used these, but if you have, and if you, especially if you have any advice on using them, then let me know because I was thinking these would be awesome for hanging up these, some of these Christmas items without putting holes in the wall. Or do you put holes in the... No, yeah, you peel it. Okay, yeah. So you just peel it, and these came with 12 hooks, right? And each one is supposed to hold a pound, so that sounds pretty decent to me. And um, this is just, of course, in their, like... Well, for me, it's like the school supply aisle. But, like, their home stuff, uh, not their Christmas stuff. But definitely seemed like a good item to pick up to me. So, we'll see. I also got these... Gorgeous little prismatic um, gift bag, gift boxes. These are so freaking cute. My mom always used to do crafts with these when I was young, and it just brings back such memories. They haven't changed at all. <laughs> they looked exactly like this when I was young, and I love them. So I could put them on a little table display, or you guessed it, in my imaginary dollhouse that doesn't exist. That would just be so cute to set up, like, even a little Christmas tree that's just made of, like, two of these. And then just surround it with these gifts all piled up. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love my imagination. Okay, next we've got some wooden shapes. You guys know I got some of these wooden shapes for Halloween. And I am so excited that they brought them back for Christmas. So we've got the little gingerbread man here. Oh my gosh, look. We've also got the little gingerbread man here. <gasps> Adorable. Look at us. We're twinsies. So cute. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, oh, psh, I was showing you the back. But that is an option, I suppose. I ha Actually, I haven't seen these in a while. I had them put away because I didn't want to look at them during Halloween. <laughs> so I took them back out now and it's been a while since I got them. But um, it actually does have little touches on there. And I love this because it is solid wood. So I always have paint in the house. So this would be so easy for me to decorate. Okay, and I've got a few of these designs to show you. So I'll just go through them really quick. We have the truck with the tree as well. So that is made completely of wood. Ready to paint or keep bare depending on the look that you like. And this one was a big deal for me. The gingerbread house. Oh my gosh. With all the details. So easy to paint. They've given you like all the guide work you need. And that is just so beautiful. I cannot wait to see this in brown and white and multicolored lights. I am very excited. So these are like, you know, especially if you're staying indoors, quarantining during this time. These are such good little just like happy, easy crafts, you know, to make the family feel the spirit. Um, Let's see. I also picked up 
the roller cutter. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but I have seen <laughs> YouTubers using these um, with fabric. Oh, excuse me, my voice is wanting to give out on me. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I've seen YouTubers use these with fabric and they just cut through it. <laughs> and this one does say for fabric and vinyl and more, but of course it was only a dollar. So I have no idea what to expect, but I really wanted to know if this was going to be like a really good tool. Um, let me take a moment to read the instructions. Okay, so you're supposed to pull back on this, exposing the blade up at the top. And I don't want to wreck my background, but I just want to see. This is not safe. I wanted to see if it would cut through this. I guess I can't. Let me do a test. Okay, it actually <laughs> did cut through the cardboard once it was down on a surface and I could press. So that's pretty cool. I am hoping this will work for... I, well, I don't really do fabric work, but I mean, it just seems amazing. Plus, uh, wrapping paper, that'd be the easiest thing in the world. So I thought that was really cool. Okay, I've got a few more items. Let's go through them quickly. <laughs> I got so many. So they also had this stocking ornaments, which do have little details in them that you can see. But even just like adding names and designs on them, I thought would be so cute. You do get 12 pieces here, and they do have the little hole where they can be easily hung or um, strung on a garland. And I got the wooden version as well. I got these all at different times, and only now do I have them all together um, so that I can see how many I got. But um, I love these. These I actually really wanted to make myself little painted versions of the stockings that my mom made us for our childhood um, to put on my tree. So these I am really, really happy to have gotten. I cannot wait to do that project for myself. And the last item is a couple of their window clings, which I have fallen in love with now for this year for decorating because we did these on our sliding door for Halloween and all over our fridge. Our fridge is the weirdest thing in the world. It doesn't, it's not magnetic. It doesn't take magnets. <laughs> so it's super weird. A bit, I feel like a big waste of space. But when we decorated it with Halloween um, pictures, it was so cute. So I got these irresistible gingerbread men, of course. Now you guys understand how happy I was to find these. And I cannot wait to decorate our uh, kitchen. Because I think they'll just look so cute and these do have a little bit of glitter to them if you can't see there we go a little bit of glitter so beautiful I just think they're so cute the house oh my gosh so they're gonna make it look so adorable and they did have tons of different moods and you know selections for these so you'll have to see what your store has and that is everything for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I appreciate you. Goodbye.